I'm glad that you're an angel. I'm glad that you're here with me. I'm glad that you're an angel, a part of Unique Mystery. Welcome back, my dear little angels. So, angels, we're discussing a very, very, very important subject today. We are talking about why you should leave your abusive lover. And I'm talking to you who's married and you who's in a relationship and they are abusing you. I'm going to give you reasons why I think you should leave them. Okay, if somebody, and we're discussing physical abuse today. If someone is putting their hands on you, angels, that means they have a problem, okay? Because nobody has the right to put their hands on you. It doesn't matter if you made them mad, you upset them, you said something bad to them, or whatever you did to them. Um, you don't have a right to put your hands on anybody. So if somebody is choking you, putting their hands around your neck because you said something that they don't like, or if they upset you, if somebody pushed you down the stairs because you made them mad, if they, clo they closed your hand up in the car door because you said something and they didn't like it, pushing you down on the floor because you did something that they didn't like, all of that is called physical abuse angels. And you need to escape that because nobody deserves to be physically abused. Nobody deserves for somebody to slap them if they said something that the person don't like. Nobody deserves to be pushed downstairs if somebody made them mad. And the number one reason why you should leave this person is because this person is not going to stop abusing you, most likely. The reason why this person is most likely not going to stop abusing you is because they have a problem. If they are hitting you, putting their hands around your neck, Kicking you, throwing you downstairs, closing your hands up in a car door. You know they have a problem. The reason that they have a problem is, again, they have no right to put their hands on you when they are angry. They have no right to put their hands on you and cause your body harm just because they are mad or angry about something you said or something that you did to them. It's not right and it's physical abuse. So the main reason you should leave them is because they are not going to stop physically abusing you because it's a problem that they have. They need some help. So you need to make a plan to leave this abuser unless you want to spend the rest of your life being knocked downstairs, choked, being afraid to talk because you think that they're about to slap you or smack the shit out of you. Who wants to spend the rest of their life like that? I'm pretty sure you don't want to spend the rest of your life like that, angels. So that's why you need to leave this person because this person most likely will not stop abusing you 
will not stop putting their hands on you, will not stop kicking you, will not stop choking you, throwing you downstairs when they're mad or you did something they don't like. They're not going to stop. So that's the main reason why you should leave them. Okay. Um, you just, you don't want to live a life like that. I'm pretty sure most people do not want to be abused. I don't care if it's your husband who's abusing you, your wife that's putting their hands on you, slapping you when they're mad, pushing you down when they are mad. Beating the shit out of you, your face, or any part of your body when they are mad. It could be your husband. It could be your wife. It could be your girlfriend or your boyfriend. All of it is wrong. All of it is physical abuse angels. And... You need to make a plan to leave this abuser. If you don't make a plan to leave them, you're going to be dealing with this for the rest of your life, being afraid around them, being uneasy around them, having to make up excuses and lies to people that you come around because you are full with, bu with bruises or something. Because you have bruises all over you. You have to make up lies and excuses to people. I'm sure you don't want to do that for the rest of your life. And if you stay with this person, they're going to continue to put their hands on you and abuse you. It's not going to stop. So your best bet is... You know, if you have a loved one or friends or somebody you can talk to to help you, or even if you don't have somebody, reach out to somebody maybe that you don't even know that seems to be nice and helpful. Reach out to them and make a plan first. Make up a plan. Once you make up the plan, then do what you have to do to get out of there. It's much, much better than sticking around for years and years, wasting your life and being miserable and hoping that this person is gonna stop abusing you and put their hands on you. You are worth more than that. I don't care what you think about yourself. You are worth more than just sitting around letting somebody physical abuse you. You are worth much more than that. So even if you don't think that you're worth more than that, I'm telling you, you are. So never let a person abuse you, physical abuse you over and over and over again. Choke you, throw you downstairs, slap you, smack you, all because you're saying things that they don't like or you said something to upset them. You said something that made them mad. That's going to happen. If you're married, that's going to happen. People are going to say things sometimes to upset you. They're going to do things sometimes to freaking upset you. But you still... Don't have a right to push them downstairs. You don't have a right to put your hands around their neck. You don't have a right to slam their hands in a car door. You don't have a right to burn them with a hot pot or hot water. You don't have that right to do that. If they, if your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend makes you that upset, you need to 
walk away and get some fresh air go to a family's house and talk it out or don't talk it out you know maybe just go to a family's house and have some fun or if they make you that mad where you think you're gonna lose it and put your hands on them throw them down some stairs Put your hand around their neck. Leave them. That's much better than abusing somebody. So for anybody out there who's in an abusive, physically, a physical abusive relationship, make up a plan and leave this person and these are the reasons i feel that you should do it i cannot tell you or i can't tell you guys what to do but i'm just giving you reasons why i feel you should leave somebody who's abusing you it would be the best bet it's much better than sitting with that person for the rest of your life and going through everything that they're putting you through and just being miserable. It's not a life. I mean, you have a better chance of making it if you make that plan and leave this person than just staying around because you're afraid. So that's it with this topic for today, angels. I hope you guys are having a blessed, happy day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you angels in my next video bye angels